lying on your back with your feet hip width apart, knees directly above the ankles and the arms and hands resting down by the sides. We're going to start by tilting that pelvis towards you and rolling up through that spine until we rest on the shoulders. And at the top of the movement, we're gonna just squeeze those glutes gently and then slowly roll back down the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And as the hips land back on the mat, you're just gonna tilt that pelvis away from you and then peel it back up towards you. So nice and slowly and controlled, rolling up and rolling back down again. One thing to note whilst doing this is just to make sure you keep those ribs down, don't let them flare open as you come up at the top of that movement. So we're just going to complete two more rolling up and rolling back down again. And then on the next movement, we're going to actually take those arms and hands over the top to the floor behind you. And then as you start to roll back down that spine, I want you to keep the arms and hands in place for the first couple of vertebrae and then start to bring the arms and hands back down to land at the same time as your hips. So as you roll up through the spine, Extend those arms over the top, really lengthening through that body and then just rolling back down again, nice and smoothly. Resting those hips down, we're going to take the arms out to the side with the palms facing up to the ceiling, knees and feet together. We're just going to let those knees fall to one side as the head turns in the opposite direction. So if you breathe in to let the knees fall, breathe out to pull them back to the center. And just try to keep those shoulder blades on the mat as you let the knees fall side to side. Breathe out, use that core to pull those knees back up. Just feel that stretch and that rotation, letting those hips rotate from side to side. Coming back to the centre now, we're just going to take the right ankle and place it on that left knee, bringing those arms back down by your sides and we're going to roll up through the spine again but just on that single left leg. So we're strengthening the left side, rolling up through the spine, keeping those hips level and rolling back down again. So just focus on relaxing those shoulders, relaxing those arms, squeezing that left glute at the top of the movement. making that left leg do all the work, rolling up and rolling back down again. Last one. Keeping that ankle in place in that figure four position, we're just going to take those arms out to the side with the palms facing up and we're going to let those knees fall to the side once more as the head turns the opposite way, getting an increased stretch as you rotate from side to side. Breathe in to let the knees fall, breathe out pulling back up to the centre. Really focus on that breathing and enjoy the rotational stretch, feeling that big stretch in the lower back. Okay, you should start to feel that back easing off a little bit now. Coming back to the centre, keeping the ankle on the knee, we're going to draw both knees up towards your chest, grabbing hold of that right knee with both hands and pulling it across to the left shoulder and use that left knee to help with that stretch. You should feel a deep stretch in that right hip, that right glute area. 
So just hold that and breathe and lower back down again. Moving on to the other side now, we're going to take that left ankle, place it on the right knee, having those hands down by your side. Again, tilting that pelvis towards you, rolling up through the spine, coming and resting up onto those shoulders and then rolling back down again, making sure those hips are nice and level, making that right leg do all the work squeezing that right glute at the top of the movement and then rolling back down again. You might notice a slight difference in the amount of strength you have between the right and the left leg. This is completely normal um, so this just enables you to correct any imbalances you might have. Resting those hips back down on the mat again, take those arms back out to the side with the palms facing up and this time just letting those knees fall from side to side, turning the head in the opposite direction to those knees, breathing in, lowering down and breathe out to pull those knees back to the centre. You might find one side feels easier than the other. This is why we do both sides, just to encourage those muscles to relax and mobilise, trying to get them to move equally on both sides. Coming into that deep glute stretch again, drawing both knees up towards the chest and grabbing hold of that left knee with both hands pulling it towards that right shoulder and again using that right knee to help increase that stretch and just breathe and hold and relaxing back down again. We're just going to stretch into the front of those hips now so drawing that right knee in towards your chest and extending that left leg out onto the floor, pull in tight with that right knee and push the back of the left leg down into the floor and squeeze that left glute if you can as well, just to feel the stretch down the front of that left hip. Release off that right knee, extend it straight out onto the floor and draw the left knee into the chest, pulling it in nice and tight and pushing the back of the right leg down into the floor, squeezing that right glute and trying to feel that stretch down the front of the right hip this time. Again, just hold and breathe. And lastly, just draw both knees in for a nice big hug. Pull your forehead up towards your knees and squeeze into a nice tight ball and then just relax your head back down before pulling those knees in again up towards your forehead, really pulling that lower back off the floor and relaxing back down again. <laughs> 